Welcome to another episode of Book Talk. Today we are discussing the 1997 Booker Prize winning novel The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. Arundhati Roy is a popular Indian author, an outspoken activist and a public intellectual. She is known for fearlessly speaking out against injustice, earning both admiration and controversy for her bold stance. Arundhati Roy's captivating storytelling has earned her a dedicated global readership. Roy's literary journey took a remarkable turn in 1997 when she made her debut with The God of Small Things which earned her the prestigious Man Booker Prize for fiction. The God of Small Things narrative which mostly jumps back and forth between scenes in 1969 and 1993 reveals the story of love, loss, caste, politics and gender. The main characters, fraternal twins Esther and Rahel, navigate the complexities of their lives in society in their early childhood. As the story unfolds, it explores themes of forbidden love, societal expectations and the devastating consequences of breaking the conventional norms. The novel begins with Rahel returning to Aimanam, her childhood home. after many years away to meet Esther whom she hasn't seen in 23 years as Rahel arrives at the house memories flood back to her reminding her of the deep bond she shared with Esther during their childhood the reunion between the estranged siblings is filled with strained silence apprehension and a sense of unease Esther and Rahel have been living apart since their english cousin Sophie Moll's death at Aimanam Esther was sent to his father in Kolkata whom he hasn't seen since their parents divorce While Rahel along with her grandmother Mamachi, great aunt Baby Kochamma and uncle Chaku remain to be with her mother Ammu in Aimanam. Esther has become withdrawn and introverted, haunted by the trauma and the subsequent separation from his family. On the other hand, Rahel developed a rebellious streak, questioning societal expectations and yearning for a life beyond the confines of Aimanam. Their mother Ammu bravely challenged the system and hypocrisy while living her own fractured life. Roy did an excellent job of capturing Ammu's moments of hopelessness and despair in the novel. Roy's poetic and evocative writing style gives us a vivid description of the characters' innermost thoughts and emotions as well. Roy masterfully portrays the complexities of family dynamics as the twins and their mother navigate their emotions during the arrival of Sophie Moll and her mother Margaret Kochamma at Aimanam. Veluta, a young charismatic untouchable, adds another layer of complexity to the story. His so-called forbidden relationship with Ammu challenges and highlights the oppressive caste system that governs their lives. The novel also has a strong political reference to the emerging Communist Party in Kerala during 1963, signaling the end of Congress Party. The political backdrop of mobilizing workers union symbolizes hope for change and liberation from the oppressive caste system. This adds a sense of urgency and tension to the story as people like Velita are caught among the hypocrisy that is destroying families, generations and individuals. Every character has a deeply layered back story which influences their actions and decisions throughout the novel. Ammu's past experience of abuse shaped her desire for freedom and love, leading her to make choices that ultimately have far-reaching consequences. Similarly, Baby Kochamma's selfless love for the Catholic priest when she was young created a longing for love and validation that she sought to fulfill through manipulative and destructive means. The God of Small Things is a literary masterpiece that leaves a lasting impression on the readers. It is a rare combination of a deeply moving story and a brilliant use of language and symbolism. The novel's exploration of caste, gender and political oppression makes it a socially and politically relevant work even today.